Hey guys, back with another quick little project. Tonight, again, I'm messing with the Robo 3D 3D printer. I picked up this Robo 3D uh, a little while ago, and I'm just still learning the basics and fine tuning the settings on my printer to make sure that I'm getting the best quality parts that I can. Tonight, I wanted to do something that uh, show the differences between what I used to do with my CNC mill versus what I can do now with my 3D printer. And a simple part that I used to make uh, and sell was a simple wheel adapter for a Futaba radio. Now, I have, uh, this is my Futaba 4PL. I run a 4PK SR on most things, but I have a couple of these 4PLs. And the thing that I used to make was a simple wheel adapter that you would unbolt the stock wheel and then this adapter would bolt on and allow you to bolt on a Vanquish aluminum 1.9 wheel. So uh, the wheel is a little bit heavier. It's you know aluminum, it's just a hair larger, but it gives you that kind of a cool look. So it's something I thought was kind of fun to do and something that I found was super easy uh, for an example for me to use tonight. So that's gonna be my project for tonight. I am going to redraw the part based on uh, some of the differences and different things that I can do with the 3D printer versus how I used to design things around a, a CNC mill. One other thing that I'm testing around with tonight is this new microphone here. I've been uh, fairly obsessed with the sound quality in my videos and I wanna try and improve that as much as I can. So tonight was a, a testing of uh, multiple products and I'm just trying to make these things uh, sound and look as best I can. So. I'm going to get right into the design of this part and then we're going to print it off on the 3D printer and then we'll test fit it on the 4PL. Now that we have the model done, I'm going to export the file into a uh, format that I can import into the software that controls my Robo 3D. We're going to go through the slicing of it and then we're going to get the print started. Alright, so we've imported the part here into the software that controls the 3D printer. Uh, it's brought in, it's a very simple part to print, so I'm going to run through, I'm going to use the slicer to slice the model down into the individual layers. So now the computer has generated the tool pass needed to uh, print the model, and now all that's left to do is to send the model to the printer and let this thing heat up. All right, so while the Robo 3D is behind me doing its thing, we're going to get the uh, Futaba 4PL and the Vanquish wheel all ready to go. Uh, so as soon as that thing comes off there, we can bolt it right up. The only thing to do on the actual 4PL itself is use a 2.5 millimeter wrench and take off the existing wheel. The wheel simply pulls off. It may be a little tight, so you just kind of give it a little tug. On the uh, stock wheel, make, you need to remove that foam because we're gonna use that on the Vanquish wheel. For the Vanquish wheel, I'm gonna be using one of my OMFs. I had this as the fifth wheel on the back of my Axial Jeep Wrangler Rubicon Unlimited, but since I turned that into the Scout and didn't plan on running a spare tire on it, I still had this one just sitting around. So uh, the one thing that I don't need is I don't need the clamping ring that goes in the center. So if you did want to build one, or wanted to buy one of these uh, specifically for this purpose, you don't have to buy that piece. And since Vanquish uh, sells all the parts of these things individually, you can really customize your uh, radio and get exactly what you're looking for. So we have the three pieces from the Vanquish wheel we need. The rear half, the inner ring, and the beadlock ring on the front. So with the two halves of the Vanquish wheel bolted back together, I'm going to take and simply slide that stock foam from the 4PL uh, wheel over top of it. Now the width of this foam is definitely not perfect. Uh, there may be some other foam choices you can go with if you're all that concerned about it. I am not going to be all that concerned about it and I'm going to run it as it is. 
but uh, there is a mm, eighth inch gap in between the foam and the back edge of the lip of the wheel. But in general, that's what our new wheel for the 4PL is gonna look like. So as soon as this adapter comes off of the Robo 3D here, we're simply gonna uh, put it on the back side of the wheel and then bolt through the face with the existing SLW hub screws that we just took off. Now that the 3D printed hub has come off the printer, all we have to do is simply bolt this to the back side of this OMF wheel and bolt it onto the radio. I'm not going to do any prep work or anything like that on the holes of this. The 440 threads that are used in the Vanquish hubs bite into this plastic just fine, so there's no need to do any extra prep. So I'm simply going to install three hub screws and then bolt it onto the radio with that one long 2.5 millimeter headed uh, coarse thread screw that uh, held the original wheel on. So now that the wheel's installed, uh, you can see that the gap on the back side is almost nothing. It seems like a, it came out exactly how I wanted it to in the design. And that's it. Super simple install on that part. And the finished look of this thing is really nice. Again, uh, just another super simple use for that 3D printer and little things like that are what I'm really liking about this thing. It's so much easier than it was on the mill to create these type of parts. It's a one operation type deal. No uh, drilling with a different size or anything like that. It can do everything I want, one shot, without any issues. So really looking forward to more projects with this thing and hopefully uh, this video turned out all right. So we'll see you guys on the next one.